Yo, what's up guys, Wooster Gaming here, and today we are going to be doing another damage comparison test, but this time with the Malum 2 set. Now, I'm sure most of you watched my Mana Flame one a couple of days ago, and I'm honestly surprised on how well and how many of you guys have actually watched that video, as well as give me a lot of comments and feedback on it, and I've actually taken a lot of that into consideration, and I have changed the way I am doing my tests, and I'm going to be covering that a little bit later on, so if you're interested in what I'm going to be doing, uh, definitely stay tuned. Now, to actually go over how to get hold of the Malum set itself, you can obviously buy it in the World Auction for extremely high prices, may I add, if you're lucky enough to see one in there, because obviously it updates every day. But if you go to Adventure, go to Team Raid, you do get the Malum uh, items dropped to you in the Burning Skyblaze Village in the normal raids. Now, every boss in, Sk in the Skyblaze Village drops an individual set effect according to the boss. So, the Malum is actually the middle one here, and it drops from Bleak, as it even says in the description, and it's the second boss in Skyblaze. Now, I'm actually going to do a guide on these very soon, so definitely stay tuned for those if you are wanting to know our tactics. But... As the Malum set actually says, equipment powered bleak with Malum crystal effects. And yeah, that just that just shows you it's bleak set, you know. Uh, so that's how you get your hands on it. <laughs> now I'm actually going to go to my infant and go to my shoulders as my second Malum piece are the shoulders. And I'm going to show you my equipment and my stats in just a second. As you can see, the Malum crystal two set ability is when attacking an enemy, there is a small chance of summoning a Malum crystal, which will constantly inflict damage on the enemy. So... Basically, it's going to spawn a big fat green crystal and pops your ankle. It does a lot of damage. And yeah, that's pretty much what to expect. And yeah, there is nothing else to really say about it. It lasts about 3-4 seconds and generally it activates every 30 to 40 seconds, uh, depending on your luck really. Because it's uh, it's just based on your on your auto on your auto damage. And yeah. Um, anyways. Putting that aside, let me quickly go show you my stats. Now, I have changed stuff, and I'm going to be covering you, uh, covering to you guys now what I have done and what will be changing in these DPS tests to try and make the data as accurate as possible, as I know some of you was a little disappointed with the accuracy of the Mana Flame because obviously I had lots of mana, I had lots of magic attack, uh, lots of crit damage, and I never realized how much it really did skew the data by, so I might need to remake the video perhaps. Um depending how well these ones are going to be seen in the in the future really so i'll let you guys let me i'll let you guys tell me what you think of this video and we'll go from there so my magic attack is actually 830 to 891 and i'm rocking 21% spell crit now all i have to do for the second test with the malum set effect is to match that so match it or at least get as close to it as possible by maybe plus one or minus one and i'm going to show you how i'm going to do that afterwards so 830 to 891 and spell crit 21%, what, 21 and if I go to my equipment, this is the gear I'm wielding. Now, I'm not wielding any other set of facts. I do have other set, of, uh, set items in here, but it's only one piece. So, you know, I've got my US and stars, no set of facts. As you can see, it's all grayed out. My Gas Grimoire, my Soul Eater Helmet, um, a normal chest with Bloodthirst on it. <laughs> legs, basically, um, oh wow, I just realized, realized I haven't put gems in the legs. Oh, well, it makes no difference uh, because I've only, I've only just put these legs on anyway for the test. And the Malum Fan Braces, um, as I said, only need, uh, we actually only need the one set so we don't actually proc the effect. So having that on means nothing and it actually helps with the data just a tiny bit. In fact, uh, obviously my Legendary Bell and my Mana Flame Cape, obviously my accessories have no set effects on them either. And all I'm going to be doing for the second test is putting the shoulders on and actually replacing the gems on my magical damage ones because I know these shoulders don't have any spell crit, so I don't have to worry about the crit rate. Um, but all I have to do is change the gems so I can match the magical attack. And that's how I'm going to obviously make the data as accurate as possible. So I'm going to target this dummy. Going to uh, obviously just show you guys the auto damage that I'm going to get uh, DPS wise. And I can tell you now that we're going to be sitting at roughly 1.8k. Um, I believe from all the tests that I was doing earlier, it sometimes peaks to the 1.9k. Not very often though, it, it was a pretty steady 1.8k. It even dropped to 1.7k for a second there. Um, but yeah, 1.8k um, is definitely where I was sitting at. As you saw, it just uh, went up to 1.9k for a split second and went back down. Uh, so yeah, 
uh, 1.8k is definitely uh, where to go and I'm hoping you guys uh, will take my word on it because I don't think anyone really wants to watch us uh, auto attack him with no set effects happening even though it's actually stand at 1.7k for a little while here um, I will leave it just for a little bit in case that does go back up to 1.8k but we might just stick with the 1.7 because it's definitely not going back up so yeah uh, okay there we go see it's just the luck on the crits really um, maybe I just got lucky with the crits earlier, and I'm being quite unlucky with the crits now, as I can already say that I've not been seeing many crits. Look at all those non-crits there. Uh, boom. A few crits in a row, and yeah. Uh, so we will, we will stick with the 1.7k, because that's what we've got on this video in the top right corner, 1.8k. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with the 1.7, 1.8k, and we'll go from, uh, those figures there. So, going to run away. Mount up, run away to the exit battle. And this is where we're going to make the changes. So exit battle, we're going to make the changes over here. So, I'm um, going to show you this again. 830 to 891. Now, I'm going to equip the shoulders, which is these ones here, for the Malum 2 set. And if I go with it, it's actually gone from 830 to 837. And it's now 898 uh, on the magic attack scout. Of As I said, the spell crit has not gone up at all. So, I need to lose minus 7. Now, unfortunately, gems don't come in odd numbers. They are all even. So, there is going to be a plus 1 difference. But plus 1 magical difference is honestly nothing. Not compared to uh, what it was in the Man of Flame video, which was like, it was actually pretty crazy. I never realized how much of a difference it really was. So, I do apologize for that. Um, okay, so, to make the changes, we're going to go over to this. Go to Embed. We're going to change the level 40 Moonstone Epic. And we're going to equip... The level 40 rare one and that's a plus 12 gem instead of a plus 18 so that's actually made a difference of six go back to the character screen it's actually 831 to 892 as i said it's a plus one difference um with the shoulders on and that's as close as i can possibly get it and i hope you guys don't mind because well plus one's not that much uh you know to really worry about at least i don't think so and obviously the spell crit's not changed. So we've got the set effect on. Now you, I do know that you have to leave it just a tiny bit before you start the test. Because um, there is a kind of cooldown on how soon the set effects take place once you uh, you know change your gear and upgrade your gear and things like that. So uh, I'm going to just quickly uh, show you my current equipment setup. As you can see. My Malum 2 sat there, and I think that's waiting long enough, to be honest. I don't like waiting around too much in these live commentary videos, because so I don't want you guys to get bored. Okay, so, let's get the time up and running. Uh, we are going to get going now. Okay, so we're going to do the two-minute test. It's actually not updating. In the, okay, there we go. It's updating. Uh, generally, the Malum Crystal procs pretty early on. I'm honestly surprised I've not seen a proc just yet. There we go. We finally got one. It's pulsating roughly 970, 911, 940. It, it does vary a bit in the damage. But I am, um, yeah, 900 to 1000 damage is roughly where it's sitting at with the actual pulsation of the green crystal. Now, I've done a free set and this is a free set test. But the free set actually um, adds a bit more damage. I don't know how many. And that's the second proc. Awesome. Thumbs up for that. And we are only 40 seconds in. So that is fantastic. Two procs in 20 seconds a piece. Well, two procs in 40 seconds, you know, one per 20 seconds, just to clarify. And, but yeah, the free set. Oh, another one. Wow, I'm trying to get stuff off, and these things are just popping up like crazy. Uh, but yeah, the Malum set effect is actually really, really good. Like I said, it generally activates. On average, 30 seconds, sometimes 40 seconds, sometimes as early as 20 seconds as we've already seen. We've only just hit, um, we've only just hit the minute, actually, minute 10 now, and we've already got our fourth proc. One minute 10, four procs. That is probably, uh, that's actually a really, really good proc rate. So, yeah, that's probably sitting at nearly 20 seconds a proc uh, at the moment, at least. But yeah, free set, the green crystal just explodes when it act, when it deactivates, so it would explode for a big big, uh, big amount of damage. And in PvP, it would daze. And there we go, five procs are ready, and we still got another 30 seconds left to go. And I'm sitting at a pretty steady 2k damage right now. So, I don't want to speak too soon, so we're going to just wait it out for another, we've got another 10 seconds left. Are we going to get a six proc? That will make it on average a 20 second proc rate during this test. 
uh, 20 to 30 seconds and you can wait as long as 40 seconds and yes we are oh I even got the following I do apologize about that um, that's my bad and that is uh, the two minute test done and yeah two damage it really didn't budge didn't go below didn't really go above it so 2k damage is what we are getting so what does that say well that says that says quite a lot really because we aren't actually going to be um you know speculating whether if it's because i got more magic attack or more spell crit because i've mixed and matched it to be as close as possible between the actual sets that i was using before and the set i'm using now for the testing so all the extra damage i get back up is purely from the malum 2 set we did get six procs in two minutes however 2k damage compared to 1.7k peak into 1.8k so it's like what high is 1.7k and i don't know how high that 2k is because we didn't see it drop to 1.9 we didn't really see it go up to 2.1 so kind of probably just say it's like in the middle of the 2k section somewhere but we will just go by the 1.7k to the 2k so you're looking at about 300 damage um between the differences of those two and because it's only a two set you do gain 150 damage per second on an individual piece in my opinion though a 300 damage increase for only a two set bonus is pretty crazy so i do highly suggest all of you to try and get your hands on the man two set as soon as possible and yeah definitely look forward to the ghast and the soul eater ones because i have got my hands on those and they will be coming very soon so definitely smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like to see those and i do hope that a lot of you who weren't too happy with the mana flame with the accuracy of the data will enjoy this one a lot more um, I'll definitely keep up with this uh, for future damage sets as much as I possibly can because it is quite difficult in some of them, but I will try my very best. Anyways, though, I'll see all of you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. Take it easy and have a good day. See you then, guys.